Right, I'm pretty excited. I've got a upgrade to my vlogging kit and uh, I think this is the upgrade I should have bought last year, but uh, more on that later. So I've got an SD card. I've got a battery charger. I've got a media mod <laughs> and I've got a GoPro Hero 10 which I'm pretty pleased about. So it comes in a case like this. I think it's got a tear off strip at the, the back here. It's a lot easier than the previous case which had that horrible plastic thing on it. By now you've probably seen hundreds of these. The camera must be updated before you can use it. Well, it's always been the case. Some simple instructions. And what all that is about guarantee and everything. So they don't actually give you a manual but they do give you a website. Yeah so let's have a look. So they've got one of these oh, blimey, magnetic yeah, ouch, God <laughs> crocodile clips which has one of these things that you can swivel so a swivel mount so typical USB lead that you get. Two batteries. So one, two, these feel a bit chunkier. Let's see, I think that says it's a, so I can't, if it focuses, some 1700 milliamp hour battery. Two of those. One of these clips, these rubber clips, a thumb wheel. One of these curved sticky mount things. I've actually got two of these. Didn't notice that. And one's a bit higher than the other. What else we got? Get it out. So I've got another little shorty, or shorty pole. It's a bit difficult to show on the camera. Right, get back a bit. Yeah, so there's a little shorty. I've already got one of these, but there you go. Got two now. And last but not least, the GoPro itself. Some sticky things over the front facing camera, a sticky thing over the rear facing camera. Everything's sticking to me now. And you can take that off as well. Oh, everything's stuck to me now. So that's the Hero 10 itself. Let's turn it around a little bit. The blue writing on it, back screen, and the side, and the front. It's got a little, get to it, got a little door on it. You should push down and you open so. That's where the battery and the SD card go. Yeah. All rid of the rubbish. Over there. All rubbish. I think this case would be better if uh, it was a bit more permanent, but a bit better made, not out, out of cardboard, but you've got something to put it in. Oh, the thing I, I nearly forgot was, is the the media mod. Yeah, so that's the media mod. So let's have a look inside there. Let's open it via the back. More instructions. More instructions. More of these mounts. Jack, <laughs> you're making a collection of those. Jack. 
stitching, another th thumb wheel, and the media mod itself. There we go. So it comes with a, a foam hat for it now over the microphones. Those are the microphones, one at the back, one at the front, and that foam thing just pushes on over it. Supposed to cut down the wind noise, but more likely I'm going to be using this with external microphones like the wireless Rode Go, wireless, uh, no, Rode Wireless Go 2. It's got a cold shoe there and a cold shoe there. And the GoPro fits in that slot there. So on the GoPro, Oh, it's quite, quite stiff that door to start with. You can pull the door off and then obviously you put your battery and your SD card in there normally and then you slide it in, push it and close it and that's the GoPro within the media mod. Now I've got to update it now so I think that bit's going to be a bit boring, but I'll see if I can film it. So, door open. Put a battery in there. And got some scissors. That's the SD card. There we are. That should just slot in there. That's it, slotted in there. Right, so got the quick app quick app going and you tap on that there and that's my hero 8 and then what I want to do is add a camera and probably switch this on that would help on that yeah so it's asking for a bit of setup English legal stuff, agree to that. Uh, it's going to ask you to turn the GPS on. I will turn it on now, but I probably won't use that. So it now says you need an update. So it says your GoPro must be updated. Leave it on and start the GoPro quick to continue. So tap on Hero 10 Black and say continue I'm searching for a camera so it's found it do connect and say yes to pairing connected change camera camera name so I'm just going to call it Bob Hero 10 let's install your update so here we go see how long this takes camera. Now it connects to the camera's Wi-Fi. Connect. Accept and continue. And it's doing the update. This is where I hope that I've remembered <laughs> that there's enough battery in the camera <laughs> to do the update, but fingers crossed. So, update complete, got it. And from here, you can control the GoPro itself. So there's the GoPro with the front camera and the rear camera. So I can see myself on the front camera, which is brilliant. So what I wanted when I was looking at the Hero 9, now it's got very little battery in it, so I'm gonna have to turn it off and get it charged up. So that's it for this little unboxing video. It's a little bit early to tell you how I got on with the Hero 10. I've had a little play with it. I'm really looking, looking forward to using it, uh, particularly the horizon levelling. Some of my footage always seems to be a bit over on one side, so hopefully that will improve. So I'll be using it for sort of walking footage and footage like this where I just want to pick up the camera and talk to the camera. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and if you haven't already, uh, subscribe. 
and hit the notifications icon and you get an update uh, when we release those videos. As for how much this cost, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will be wondering how much it is, uh, I will leave a link in the description, in the description below, uh, to the website. I bought this myself from direct from the GoPro website, so you can check that out yourself. Alright, well I'll catch up with you soon then. Bye!